just putting this here for right now, and um, this event I am actually going, this event with Elfin I'm going to do, but this is actually going to appear very much, probably this may be the last character event we see. So this Bonnie event is going to be way out of order out of all the other ones. There's a specific reason for it. I made a alternate save now. so that I could return here. I'm still doing it on the save where I do everybody's ending, but there's a specific reason of why I needed this alternate save for this part. And so, um, yeah, I'm just having this here so that you know what's up. So I'm still doing this, uh, but um, it's not being shown until much later. Okay, now we can get down to the bonding events that I am curious on how they are actually approached. <laughs> I don't know why I already find it funny that the first thing I gotta do with with Reen today is why so serious? <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> why so serious, Vora? Everything okay? My apologies. I was just lost in thought. We were able to get you and Crow back. We've been recovering our comrades one after another. But there's still the Ironbloods and Ouroboros to consider, as well as Zephyr and the Red Constellation. Can I really hope to stand up to those blocking our path? Do I truly have what it takes to serve as an heir to the Arsade family in the Blade Master's stead? Thoughts like that have been weighing quite heavily on my mind as of late. Laura. My sword itself is in fine condition. If there is a problem, it must lie with me. I must further hone my abilities, should I wish to continue to serve as a blade of Class 7. Looks like war is at a bit of a dead end, that being the case. Right, maybe we could try there. Would you like to go down to the surface with me, Wara? Oh, whatever for. If you're intent on polishing your skills, then I think I know the place. It just might help you shake off any stagnation you're feeling. Very well. I can't say no to you. So where is this place exactly? I hope they don't try to ruin the freaking way the confessions go for characters I actually like. It's the beach. It's the perfect place for your swimsuit. Meh. <laughs> Baronia. The same place you settled things with Crow. I suppose this would make an ideal training spot. Yeah. And it's uninhabited, too. Hmm. So we don't have to worry about causing damage if we go all out. I've trained alone in the mountains before, but having a whole island to myself will be new. Group B went here back when we were students. I doubt anyone will find us here. It's perfect. Now, we should set up camp so we may begin. First, we need to establish a base camp, build a fire, and find a fresh water supply. Sounds good. Let's do it. Now we get to have a nice camping trip. Reen is tired. After pitching their tents, finding food and water didn't take long. <laughs> it's a whopper. <laughs> Never gonna get over that line with Reen. With preparations finished, they were able to devote themselves to improving their skills. Both of them were used to training in the great outdoors. They moved across the island, alternating between individual practice and sparring matches. They started to lose track of time until eventually... Sheesh. 
I could have sworn the forecast that it would stay dry. Maybe this is another side effect of the Great Twilight. Or maybe I'm just overthinking it. <laughs> Perhaps. Summer rains are always unpredictable. Let's give it some time. It may be over soon enough. Sure. <sighs> some time away to train was just what I needed. Concentrating on nothing but swinging my sword has done wonders for clearing my head. I doubt this will be enough to overcome the uncertainty in my blade, though. Right. Is this about the vi- About your dad? Yes. At the time, I truly believed I would black out momentarily. I felt so powerless. It was as if the ground had been pulled out from under me. The idea that I was only a burden to Emma and Gaius. That I could not save you a million. It was almost too much for me to bear. Aura. More than anything else, I despise myself for being so weak. As an Arsade, my blade is meant to inspire and push others forward. But I was unable to do it. I couldn't even come close to my father's legacy. I knew how much Elisa and Eustace must have been suffering, but I couldn't do anything for them. <sighs> Reen, I truly admire you for deciding to undergo the rivalries. Everyone in Class 7 is working so hard in their own way. Even Crow is breaking free from his own past. I am surrounded by people with me, with so much determination. I feel like I'm the only one who isn't doing enough. <laughs> so much for being the Radiant Blade Master's daughter. Have I only been riding on the coattails of my father's renown all this time? Am I truly that weak? When I consider this... I only want to run and hide from it all. This must be what is causing my lack of resolve. Is that right? You know, Laura. You and I are very really quite alike. Huh? When I was being held in the workshop, I spent so much time cursing my own weakness. Everything had gone so wrong and it felt like it was all my fault. But unlike you, I... Reen, as a fellow practitioner of the Blade, I've always kept a close eye on you and your skills. Somewhere along the way, I noticed something odd, but I couldn't quite place what it was. Until now, that is. What do you mean? You're searching for a place to die, aren't you? <laughs> I know that the Chancellor's heart beats in your chest. And that is what's keeping the curse of the Empire alive. However, you are not like Crow. Once you die, you will not come back. Therefore, I must ask, why are you giving up so easily? <sighs> if you won't answer, then let me see if I am correct in my guess. Is it because you cannot forgive yourself? The curse spreading throughout the continent, Milliam's death, you blame yourself for all of it. So now you feel like you don't deserve to live, and that dying will in some way help you atone. Am I right? Yeah. Something like that. No, actually, it's exactly like that. What's the point in hiding it when you can read me like a book? Countless lives will be lost because of the war in the Great Twilight. None of this would be happening if I had been stronger. If I'd realized what was going on sooner. <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm trying to throw my life away. It's more like I'm looking for a way to make my death mean something. That's the best way I can put it. I thought so. <laughs> this may sound strange. But I'm happy you told me. Now that I know what burdens you bear, my own issues seem petty in comparison. There is a rage building up inside me that has cut through all the pain I was feeling from losing my father. I won't falter anymore. It's all so clear to me now. Laura. <sighs> Thank you.
And that should speak for itself. I'm no different than Elisa and Emma. Fee as well, I suspect. Though it may seem strange to hear me say it, I too have feelings like this. And when I'm with you, I can hardly contain them. The path of the sword has brought us together, and I'll do whatever I must in order to prevent that from changing. Laura. Thank you. I feel a little better now. And here I was thinking this trip was about me cheering you up. <laughs> I guess the best either of us can do is to accept our mistakes and try to get on with our lives. Yes, but on only us. Why else do people band together and encourage growth in one another? I will endeavor to not let this weakness of mine hold me back. You must do the same. There may be others you wish to be with instead of me, but could we stay like this just a little longer? <sighs> of course. Well, that was a pretty intense storm, but it looks like we'll be able to train some more now. Y yes Are you alright? Hey, don't tell me you're embarrassed now. What? Of course not. I I'm just surprised I could be so bold. Anyway, it's time to focus. We came here to train, remember? <laughs> I never knew Laura could be so cute. Alright, alright. We'll train extra hard now to make up for the lost time. We've got to get over our weaknesses and help each other grow, right? Indeed. Let's start. See, now that right there... That was done well. I think probably Wars is gonna be the one that I favor the most. Um, where is she at again? She's in the World Factory, you do the after talk. But, they, I think the confession was handled well. And it makes... It, it just worked, alright? I think that the way they did with Laura worked. She's still blushing. Reen, I, um... Thank you for helping out with my training earlier. A lot happened back there, but, um, anyway, it really helped me get my head on straight. I hope we can continue to support each other from here on out. Of course. Thanks, Wara. So yeah, I think that Wara's, is, so far, might be the best confession. Um, and probably some people will be like, what, you're not putting Toa up on the pedestal? Well, that's because Toa didn't exactly confess until the final event. She said she can't live without Reen. No. That's like, she wasn't doing the immediate I love you thing, which is in a way the same thing. But, um. And yeah, I know. Some people do know I, f I do favor Wara as well. She's the second best. Uh, but still, I think that they did that well. And I liked seeing. We don't see Wara in weakness that much, so getting getting a little moment like that with her was pretty good. Um, if anything, I think I've said before, along with the fee bonding event, which was good, I wish they weren't all, the first ones were not all, like, pretty much kind of the love confession thing. No. Because, I don't know, man, I don't like running the harem. But either way, it was still a good event. And I'm pretty sure War is going to be the one I choose for another ending anyway, so. Oh, finally, we, we get something different. Oh, wait a minute, what if I brought War here? Oh, shit, I bet War would have said something, because this is what we, this is like the same area. Anyway. This must be one of those fairy springs that appear out of nowhere. 
Wish I could grab some drinks and enjoy a nice long soak. <laughs> this reminds me of that hot springs back in Elmo Village. Maybe we can get everyone together for an SSS vacation sometime. Wait a minute, I swear I brought Teal before. I'm feeling like I brought Teal once before. Let's see what we can get with Emma's bonding event. Just changed her name just for now. Emma? Um, you okay there? Oh, Reen. Something on your mind? What's the book she's reading? Well, I do have a proposal. A request, rather, that I'd like to make of you. Would you happen to have any time to spare? I'm not sure what Emma's planning, but she does look a lot more serious than usual. Sure, I don't know how useful I'll be, but I'd be happy to help. Great, thank you so much. Would you mind coming down to the surface with me? There's somewhere I'd like to go. I don't mind at all, but where are we headed exactly? Don't worry, it's nowhere you haven't been. Oh, fast mode needs to be turned off. We don't leave that on during the monuments. Rosalia's Artillier. Artillier. This is where you grew up, huh, Emma? I guess Rose isn't here right now. No, she left a while back. She said she had some business to attend to. I got her permission to use it, though, so that shouldn't be a problem. Oh, that's good. Something seems weird here. I asked you to come here for a reason. The curse that's affecting you. The thing that keeps you bound to the Great Twilight. I want to release you from it. What? You can do that? I think so, if everything goes well. I found something in this spell book, Ishmian Tales. I can't know for sure, but in theory it should work. I won't lie. It's going to be dangerous, but I believe it's a risk worth taking. <sighs> I see. If you think it's worth the risk, then I'm willing to give it a try. Elisa, I mean, no, pff, dumbass. Elise, Toa, and the princess are safe now, so it's not as much of an issue if they get put out of commission for a while. Alright, if you're sure. Take a seat and I'll set it all up. This spell will allow me to project my astral body and enter your mind directly. The physical cause of the Great Twilight is in your heart, there's no doubt about that. But based on the information we have, I'd also say I'd say it's also linked to your soul. It sure feels that way. I'm going to try and find the root cause of the curse and separate it from you. Once that's done, your powers shouldn't go out of control anymore. That sounds great and all, but what about you? If I get hurt, there's one thing, that's one thing, but I don't want anything to happen to you. There's no need to worry, I've done this before. You're the one who'll be facing the most danger from this procedure. That's fine by me. I'm ready when you are. Okay. And now we bring our foreheads together. Can I get you to crouch down a little? Like this? Now close your eyes. Yeah, I'm not saying that. <laughs> Okay, Reen. Stay calm. Take a deep breath and look into my eyes. Oh. What the? Is this my mind? Oh boy, there you go. So this is where they would have originally shown that? <laughs> Pretty neat, right? I'm projecting the image back to you. And don't worry, I won't peek at any of your private memories. Well, thank you, but that's not what I'm worried about. Are you going to dive deeper from here? Yes, that's the plan. I'm going to make my way through the layers of your consciousness until I reach the depths of your soul. That's where I'll find the curse. <laughs> what was that? No 
no. It's too soon. It's got to be my powers. Emma, get out of there. If you get caught now, it's all over. Don't worry. I knew this might happen. What? Sorry, Reen. I lied to you before. This spell, the danger it presents to you is practically negligible. On the other hand, there's a chance my astral form could be completely destroyed. <coughs> the history of the Hexen Clan is the story of sacrifice after sacrifice. My mother was no different. Even Vita is carrying on the tradition in her own way. And now, it's my turn. Emma, stop! You don't- you didn't tell me any of this! This isn't what I wanted! My name is Emma Milstein- I- Emma Steinstein? I forget it. I am the daughter of Isola, disciple of the Crimson Witch Rosalia. I will live up to my family name and protect those dear to me, no matter what the cost. No. No. Stop this now! What the? Reen, how did you... Reen, don't! You have no idea of the damage that could... Shut up! You're in no position to lecture me! Damn curse! Get away from her! That shouldn't have been possible. Emma. I'm disappointed. I thought you knew better than this. Do you have any idea how stupid that was? Reen. I had a feeling something wasn't right from the very beginning. If a spell like that really existed, Selene Rosaria would have known, right? They'd have helped with it. Even Vito would have pitched in. This Ishmael Tales book is no ordinary spell book, is it? Let me guess. It's full of dark magic so dangerous that's forbidden by your clan. That's why you didn't say anything to Selene. And that's why you made some excuse to get Rosalia out of here. <laughs> I can't believe you pulled one over on me. Vita's really gonna let me have it. How did you? Come on. How long have we known each other? I can tell when you're hiding something. Just had no idea you would resort to such desperate measures. Emma. Why did you even? How can you even ask that? Huh? Because you're important to me, Reen. You're more dear to me than anyone else I know. Isn't that reason enough to want to protect you? <sighs> Everything that's happened has been my fault. If I was stronger, you wouldn't have been cursed, and Million would still be alive today. It was my duty to put an end to all this destruction, and I... I failed. Because of that, you and Yusa suffered so much pain. I was so scared. I thought I was going to lose you. Th this was really the end. And I know you. If there's a chance for you to sacrifice yourself, you're going to take it. You might try to act cool so we won't worry, but I can see through it. It's got nothing to do with being a witch. Elisa, Elise, we all know what you're thinking. You're just as bad as Crow. No, you're even worse. Did you really think I'd just stand idly by and let you throw away your own wife? Emma, I... Excuse me. I need some air. Emma, there you are. Emma, where are you going? What's the matter with you? Alright, Reen, what happened between you two? Judging by that forbidden grimoire, I'm guessing it's nothing good. Um, so... 
It's like this. Hmm. I thought Emma was looking more than a little gloomy. Attempting a spell like this is rather extreme, though. So, it really was more dangerous than she went on. Yes. <sighs> Diving into another's conscience is not something anyone should attempt lightly. That's even more true for a cursed soul like yours. Worst case scenario, it could have left her a soulless husk. <sighs> this is all my fault. I should have paid more attention. I should have said something. Indeed, that's true. Hey, can you all- you can- Hey, can I get a little sympathy here? Silence, fool, and think about what you've done. In a way, though, hearing about this is something of a relief. Huh? Emma's always been such a good, obedient child. This is the first time I can remember her caring about something enough to break the rules. Although, that might just be because her mother always let her have her way when she was little. Um. <sighs> it's a little galling that you were the one who inspired her to be more honest about her feelings. Though it only makes sense given how close you two have become. Reen, I know you must be upset, but try to be gentle with Emma. Consider her feelings. That's what a gentleman does. Rose, you're starting to show your age. Well, excuse me for still believing in good old-fashioned manners. process all of that. I wonder if Emma had teleported back to the ship on her own. Um... Oh. So, what's with the hat and glasses? Going back to your old look, I see. Reen, I have to apologize to you. I don't know what came over me. At the time, I was blind to it, but now it's clear to me that I stepped far out of line. I could imagine how devastated you'd be if anything were to happen to me, and yet... <sighs> Reen, you stripped her! Oh! There. No need to hide behind those glasses anymore, right? I think you can see just clearly without them. That's not to say I don't find the speckled look really cute on you, though. C -c cute Emma, you truly go above and beyond to support me. You always have. You can lose sight of everything else because it else because of it. But that just shows how much you care. I couldn't be more grateful to have you. Oh. If possible though, could you keep me in the know from now on? I try to put on a brave face, but you've seen through that. It's true I don't have much hope left for what's to become of me. But I don't want to die. I want to continue on. And not alone. I want to have my friends beside me. You especially, Emma. Reen. Uh, I'm sorry. For everything. Thank you. Oof. That was pretty damn good. That was a pretty good event. What's the after dialogue? Oh, Reen. Um, from now on, I, I won't try anything about... without talking to you first, just like you asked. Thank you. I really do appreciate it. Hmm. <laughs> it's a miracle you both made it out unscathed. I'll be expecting some top quality milk as an apology for making me worry. Small price to pay, really. I'll even throw in some fish, too. I do end up showing you different aspects of myself, don't I, Reen? It's embarrassing, but I'm happy about it, too. I should say thank you. Now then, that was actually a very good event. Hell, that might have shot Emma up in the ranks a little bit. Uh, I definitely like that, um, 
That event was so focused on pretty much the love aspect of things that, um... Honestly, with that one, I don't think I can complain. Well, actually... Yeah, yeah I really can't complain on that one. It was really good. I didn't see really anything wrong with that one. I like that Emma tried to do what she tried to do and Reen was able to, you know, get her out of it. And it was just a very nice event. Very good. <laughs> very funny how in a way it looked like Reen was like, what are you wearing those clothes for? And just stripped her. <laughs> Alright. But, um... For now, I need to go and do all of the hot spring events now. So off I go to watch a bunch of people in just towels for probably like 40 minutes.